Hello everyone. So my name is Ganesh Karthik. So I am from College Junior. So hello ma'am. Hello sir. Hope you are having a good day ma'am. Oh yes. So, Welcome to the college. Okay, okay. Thank you ma'am. Thank you. So today we are at uh, Jerusalem College of Engineering at Palli Karnai to take an interview with Anuradha ma'am, Dean Academic of Jerusalem College of Engineering. So shall we start ma'am? Sure sir. Okay, fine ma'am. So we are having so many questions ma'am. First we will start with kindly share your uh, entire career, research, work. Uh, can you share it now? Sure, sure. Good morning, I am Dr. Anuradha, basically a professor in mathematics, associated with Jerusalem College for the last 20 years, overall experience of about 32 years and uh, since 2002 I am here in Jerusalem College of Engineering. Today I hold the post of Dean Academics. Now that the college has become an autonomous college, uh, my role is a bigger role to play and I am happy that the management has given me this opportunity to take the college to the next level. So, and I have about uh, eight paper publications um, in my research and uh, under fluid dynamics is my specialization. And uh, I'm associated with uh, not only the academic part, framing the new curriculum for the college and also for uh, creating and taking the college to the next level. Okay, super ma'am, super. Right. Thank you ma'am. So shall we go for a second question? Yes. How yes. does the curriculum of Jerusalem Engineering College ensure the best practice for the industry ma'am? Yeah, Jerusalem College of Engineering was under Anna University till 2019. We were an affiliated college to Anna University, non-autonomous. And in 2019, after a series of inspections by both UGC and Anna University, the college has been granted autonomous status for a period of 10 years from 2019 to 2029 and uh, we have this autonomous structure that we are in right now gives us the provision of including a number of series of emerging topics especially that is seen in computer science these days like cloud computing, internet of things and cyber security, artificial intelligence and so on. So a lot of openings, a lot of opportunities that uh, the college now has uh, grown unto because of uh, getting the autonomous structure. And uh, so now the curriculum that we are framing also is not basically done by the teachers or the professors in the college alone, but we take the expertise from various uh, industries, various academicians from leading institutions and uh, we get to know what are the industry requirements and try to include all of them in our curriculum, strengthening the curriculum so that the student when he goes out into the market, he is going industry ready. As we are aware that today the industry is not spending more time on training uh, the young freshers. So it's always better that the student moves out of engineering colleges with complete uh, readiness so that he can get into his projects the day he joins itself. So that's our main motto and we are working towards it. We have given a lot of uh, avenues for internships, uh, soft skill and aptitude training, employability enhancement courses and a lot of uh, non-credit mandatory courses which we could include now just because we have become autonomous. So a lot of provisions we have been given and we are already on the track of achieving this. So the first batch under the autonomous status is currently in the final year and I'm proud to say that we have successfully implemented all that we wanted and we still have plans to take it forward by revising the new curriculum in the coming academic year. Okay, okay, super ma'am. Thank you. And going to the next level, uh, what do you think should have res uh, roles and responsibility of the Jerusalem College and students are? Yeah, they, now that we are senior teachers of the college, we have play a greater role. And our role is to see that our students move out with pride into the main, main industry, main society, so that not only they serve for the society or the jobs where they are working, but also to the society at large. We have a lot of extension activities that we focus on when a student is within the campus. We have options like NSS, YRC and Road Track, where students uh, very, very enthusiastically participate in socially relevant activities. So they go to nearby villages and help the people create awareness in wherever there is a, uh, there is a downfall. And a lot of such activities totally shapes the overall personality of the student. So when he moves out of the college, he is moving out not only as an engineer, with the required technical skills, but also with a lot of socially relevant responsibilities, which he will have to and, and in practice when he moves out into the main market. Okay, fine ma'am. So this is a good question. So can you explain our college strength ma'am? What is the Jerusalem college strength ma'am? The strength of the college is the academic freedom that we give. 
to both teachers and students there is no big strictness that we maintain but we are uh, we create the awareness among the students what is right and what is wrong and we are happy to uh, inform you that the students have always cooperated with us in all the aspects that we have said and they have uh, we have not curtailed them on anything and the best strength is the complete cooperation of the departments and students with the management and uh, the growth of the students has always been seen as proved by our alumni who are very well settled so i would say the strength of our college is our students and our alumni who make us even more inspired and take and give us a lot of opportunities to take us move forward okay ma'am so next question today uh, entire it generation has a boom is coming so so many field field is uh, uh, going for any higher level so what are the challenges you are facing in current uh, current year and what are the challenges you are facing to enhance your curriculum ma'am yeah today's challenge today student is equipped with a lot of technology and everything he has in his hands today there is nothing that we have to teach him separately so the best basic challenge is earlier days when we were studying there was there was nothing and we had to look for going into the libraries get the advices of people but today everything is available in his palm so there is nothing that he does not know but yes what is challenging is there's so much of information that he has to really know which is right and which is wrong and so proper guidance is what the present day student wants and a proper accepting level of a student so the student should understand that whatever is guided or advised to him is for his betterment because too much is too bad but today there's a lot of things in his palm and we would like to only guide him in the right direction so it's one of the challenges that we are framing facing because students feel that a lot of things are there and they know everything but certain things are dangerous to them and we want to warn them that they should not be going in that direction but so this is a challenge but i'm sure the students are understanding us they are uh, taking us in the right direction and accepting to what we say what are the basic things that we are trying to train the student are in three aspects one is the attitude of the student that should change for his betterment tomorrow for his better life the second is his proper communication skills we want him to speak in english fluently so that tomorrow when he goes into the corporate he faces it with boldness and he meets his clients very confidently and the third is his technical knowledge which our curriculum is anyway going to take care so we have our curriculum spanned as assuming all these three aspects and on and ensuring that the student really develops in all these three points so that tomorrow he moves out with confidence okay fine ma'am this is the last question ma'am so any message or any suggestion for upcoming students upcoming youth aspirants ma'am from your side surely yes as senior teachers of uh, the and uh, being a teacher for so many years and being in the teaching fraternity it's definitely my role that uh, i would act as a mentor and i am a mentor because i believe in uh, and uh, counseling students i believe in uh, showing them the right way rather than being stern i would like to be very friendly with my students that's how i have grown over these 32 years and uh, i would uh, be available for them for any kind of any kind of a discussion they could always feel free to call me and i uh, even interact with me and if i could be of any help to them nothing better than that okay okay thank you thank you so much for coming as for joining us campaign and you're sharing your experience and your wisdom your ideas and all uh, i think it's very helpful for upcoming students or uh, currently studying your college so thank you thank you ma'am thank, thank you for you. thank you thank you for giving me this opportunity okay.